is uh, we have really excellent compost teas. We have uh, fifth generation farmers that are producing compost teas out of Clarksburg, California, which is just below Sacramento. Um, so we can kind of ship them everywhere. Um, and so we use the compost teas. We have a fish hydrolysate that is, has chitin in it. Chitin is, um, comes from crab and shrimp shells. And um, the enzyme that, that uh, consumes the chitin is chitinese. And it makes, it, so you're getting, uh, what ends up happening is you get very plant available calcium, uh, you know, immediately to the vine. So you're getting a fish hydrolysate that is really diverse in its biology. And what you're really getting on kind of fish hydrolysate product, you're getting a lot of fungal matter in there. So you're, you're increasing your fungal matter. And what, what is it, why is that important? Because you're, you know, your, your rhizosphere can only go so far. And your rhizosphere forms a relationship with fungal and can actually access a lot more nutrients in water and also is, is, is much more, uh, has much greater ability to withstand abiotic stress. So by those, are, those, those are nature's natural symbiotic relationships that have been going on since the world started. And if we can kind of help promote that, especially mycorrhizae, fungal, then you know, we're, getting, we're seeing farmers that you know, get a lot better performance in terms of their canopies are bigger, they're greener, they're longer, much greener and longer in the season, they're photosynthesizing longer in the season, which, you know, makes, um, you know, makes, makes a better product in the end. Is that through fertigation? How is that going on? That's yeah, applied through fertigation. Yeah. And then we have a foliar program and, uh, you know, we have a number of foliar, uh, applications, as I said before, that are real complex and, and, and coastal is used, you know, several of our products and, and had, you can. Yeah. We worked closely with Deke last, uh, last season. Um, you know, when we realized that the weeds there worked so good. So well, what else you got? Um, and uh, we put together a, a pretty comprehensive foliar program and sampled it on um, probably 15 to 20 different vineyards uh, throughout the Santa Cruz Mountains and Santa Clara and San Mateo uh, growing regions. And, um, and and I think Deke, you hit the nail on the head when you say when you go from conventional to, to organic and to these foliars, you move the needle pretty quickly and we saw that and we right. saw uh, enhanced vine health right. um, we saw vineyards that were on the verge of, of being ripped out and replanted because of disease and neglect they uh, they rebounded nicely um, and you know I think across the across the board last year was a good yield and so I'm not sure I can't attest to a yield increase but the vines were healthier um, happier and we're going to continue on with the program and Deke's been able to, to kind of put strategies together with us so so what you're doing when you're applying that foliar you know your 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 plants are exudating to a greater degree into the soil and they're feeding that microbiology and that microbiology in turn is feeding is digesting very i mean they're saying now that the the plant is actually communicating with that biology and saying you know i need more potassium and can actually signal even for you know greater potassium so you're just you're magnifying or amplifying nature's process with that foliar. It's exudating, you're feeding that biology, it's getting bigger. And what people don't realize is that, you know, when people think of soil organic matter, they think, you know, plant matter, debris in the soil. No, it's dead microbes. Dead microbes are the biggest contributor to soil, to, uh, soil organic matter. And in, in, in an acre field, uh, you in a good healthy acre, uh, acre field you have about you know five to six thousand pounds of, 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 of microbiology in your soil I mean imagine that I mean it's that's if you if we piled it up here it, it would be you know 40 feet in the air so if we can start to really contribute to that we can see a lot of different a lot of difference in terms of way our bodies are and we've been around <laughs> since 2008 you know, we've been doing this game for a long time. We work with some of the biggest vineyard growers in the state. We do all of like Foley family farms and we do, you know, small acreages too. We, 